Okay, so here's the Arduino hack to control the fan of the DPS 1200 server power supply. As you can see, it's a neat little unit, very small for its power. But uh, one annoying feature is the behavior of the fan. If you put a really high load on the output, then the fan needs a lot of time until it accelerates to really cool this thing so it can get over 65 degrees Celsius hot on the outside of the case and one can only assume that the components in here are much hotter. So what I did is I uh, control the fan speed with this little Arduino uh, Pro Mini here and uh, now I will tell you how it is connected. So what we first need is ground. The ground wire we get from here and it goes from below to the ground pin which is here. And of course we need a positive voltage also. This one is 12 volt positive. See the red wire going all the way to the raw voltage pin. This is where we will uh, connect everything with more than 5 volt and it is regulated down to 5 volt on this chip. So what I decided to use uh, is the load share pin which is pin 34 I think here and uh, many power supplies have this feature meaning that they increase the voltage a little on this pin in a almost linear manner to the load which means if you have more load then you have more voltage or you can also in reverse check this voltage and then you know approximately how much load you have here so if you have no amps here, zero amps load, then you have zero volt. And if you have around 60 amps here, then you have two volt here. And this is, uh, is goes up to 100 amps, and I think in a very linear manner, because it's pretty linear from zero to 60 amps. So what I did is I connect this pin with the input pin 6 of the Arduino. Sorry, I got a little mixed up. This one is actually connected to pin 7 here. This is an analog input pin and this pin samples the voltage and does some calculations according to that. And what I also did is I connected an uh, I think LM35 temperature sensor here and this one also needs a positive input on this wire and I simply set my program to the uh, digital output pin 9 to high so this one can provide 5 volt input voltage here this one is the negative, so it is also connected to ground here. You remember where we first connected this ground from below. And the center pin is the output pin. And it has what 0.1 volt for 10 degree Celsius. Meaning at 0 degrees it has 0 volts. At 100 degrees it has 1 volt and I start doing things here at 60 degrees so if this one it's connected to A6 if this one gets over 0 0.6 volt input meaning 60 degrees it will start to spin up the fan and it will be on maximum if it is 70 degrees and I will glue it to this conductor afterwards because um, when I let it run run uh, with the case open so things were not cooled very well then this one got the hottest 
so I'll put this here as a safety against overheating. So, and the most important thing is, here you see the fan is connected and this yellow wire is the control wire of the fan, meaning we can put a PWM signal on here and vary it between uh, 0 and 100% and the fan speed also varies between 0 and 100%. And it is normally when it's not overheated or with zero load, the fan spins at a very slow speed and as soon as the load rises over 5 amps then the fan will continue to speed up and at 60 amps or above it will be at 100%. And the same way the temperature pin here, if it's at 60 degrees it will spin up at 70 degrees it will be at maximum being linear in between and over 70 um, degrees Celsius it will be maximum. Another feature I added was that I uh, programmed this internal LED which is tied to pin 13 and a possible external LED which is tied to output 10 uh, these will light up if the operation is normal and they will begin to blink both LEDs when it is over 60 degrees which it no should normally never reach so you know that something may be wrong and you can connect the cable here to uh, somewhere where you can see the LED very well and so you can have a check if everything is normal this here is a 500 ohm resistor and so you could connect any LED and it will work just right. Okay, now we have the power supply up and running. You can briefly hear the fan in the background. So we have three LEDs now. This is the main LED. It is always on. And this and this one are the control LEDs. So at first I will now start with some uh, charger to charge from this power supply so the current will rise and you will slowly hear the fan speeding up if everything goes according to plan. So I will start now. Charger checks. Okay, Is it 1 amp, 4 amp, 6 amp. You hear it? 14, 15, 20, 30, 40, okay, it's 47 amps now. And now I will stop the charge. And you hear the fan speed is going down again. So now I will get my heat gun and I will heat the sensor which is about here, just out of the picture. And um, as it will heat up much faster then the current will rise you will most likely hear also the fan spool up in a very small amount of time and you will also see these LEDs blinking then I will take the heat gun away and you should hear the fan spool down and after a while the LEDs will be steady again okay heat gun time
Okay, as you noticed, the sensor got hot very quick, the fan got a speed quick, and it cooled down after a short amount of time because it has almost zero thermal capacity and the fan also got slower. And just because it's so nice, I will do the current test again. I will switch on the charger. Okay. Wait for it, wait for it. No. So, and uh, you heard the fan getting louder in increments, um, but this is because uh, the fan speed is updated every two seconds. So uh, the temperature and the load signal are sampled four times with uh, 0.5 seconds in between. Then the average is taken of these four samples to reduce fluctuation and then you have two seconds, and the valid signal is calculated, the chip does the computations to determine the fan speed, and then the fan speed is updated. So, if you rise the voltage really slowly, then you will hear the fan also speeding up very gradually and not in these large steps. Because if the load now rises really fast, then after two seconds, well, in two second intervals in between, the load has risen quite a lot, and so the fan speed also increases quite a lot. So this is the reason why you may hear steps in between. Okay, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I know that the program and everything cannot be determined from the video, but I have a thread on RC groups, and you will find the link in the description below the video. And there you can check the program and details on the connections.